student recital, um, i.e. people who get prepared pieces and play them on Fridays all together. So I actually have a story for you guys this time and I thought it was pretty exciting but sort of scary at the same time. So we are playing a piece. I can't tell you the piece because it's super duper secret and I'm not allowed to disclose that. So we were playing a piece on A clarinets. And if you don't know what an A clarinet is, it's a little bit longer than a B flat clarinet and it sounds better than a B flat clarinet. But our school has some and my friends were the lucky ones who all got to the good A's before me. So I uh, loaned, got loaned out the last A clarinet. And it's a pooper, like, it's, it's good. The case is falling apart. I wish I had it with me, but I left it at school because the case, half the case, let me just show you what this case right here. Like the end of the case is gone from where someone had dropped it and I don't want to really take it outside for stuff getting in there or like humidity and whatnot. So I usually just leave it in my locker at school. But anyways, it had been having some major problems holding down my F sharp key, the pad, I don't know if you guys can really see this, the upper pad, on the clarinet here wouldn't seal whenever I played F sharp and whatnot. And in one section of the piece, I actually have like a little mini solo where I would do an ascending thing and end up going to F sharp. Something like that, but it sounds way better. Um, anyways, um, before our recital actually started, um, I needed to swab out my clarinet, so I borrowed my friend's swabber and swabbed it out and I picked it back up and nothing was coming out. In my lower joint section, it was squeaking on me, squeaking and squawking, and I was like, oh no. There's like five minutes until we go on and we rehearse. I was like, and my clarinet isn't working. So I was like, what do I do? So I went to my professor who was in the ensemble with us and he was playing bass clarinet. And I was like, Dr. Blah Blah Blah, do you have an A clarinet here? Because he owns a lot of clarinets. And he's like, yeah, I'll be right back. So he runs upstairs, grabs a clarinet, comes back down, and it is like his baby A clarinet. Like, it means a lot to him. I know, because I see him play it all the time, and it's beautiful. It's a summer privilege, and those things are expensive. And whenever he handed it to me, I was like, oh my gosh, don't give this to me. I'm too scared to play it. Like, if I broke that thing, I would probably cry and he would probably cry. I don't know. I don't know how sensitive he is, but so I got his summer privilege to play on and the keys are a little bit different than an R13. Um, the register key has this funky little uh, design on it where it goes out to like the right of the key. So I had to adjust to that real fast and I played a bunch of scales. And we went out there, and whenever we started playing, I realized, I realized, oh crap, the back of my reed is dry. And I have this problem where I don't really moisten my reed whenever I play it. Um, my moisture goes back into the back of the mouthpiece, but doesn't go down the reed. So the back of my reed can get dry and the front is moist. So anytime I try to play a higher note, it has a lot of resistance. So there's a possible squeak that might happen. So throughout this whole piece, I didn't play my high stuff. If, if, if there was any kind of resistance, I didn't play the high note. And I was on third part, so I was like, whatever, I'm gonna play the low stuff because the low stuff sounded really good on this clarinet. I was like, yep. Yeah. I was like, I'm gonna play that out. And the stuff that I have high, I'm not going to. And it came around to that solo where, that little mini solo where I had like the F sharp ending. I was like, okay, good. I finally get to play it and it finally gets to come out. And I make sure to get a lot of moisture in my mouthpiece by blowing warm air before I get to that. And I nail it and I'm so happy. It's so good. But the whole piece together was probably the worst run we've done. 
and it was just bad. We practiced so much, and I don't really know what happened. It was just sort of sad, but we did it, and it was like 15 minutes. There were a lot of good things that happened in it, though. Um, it was pretty much the top five players in the music department, top five clarinet players. So a lot of good things happened and a lot of bad things happened, but I feel like more good things than bad. Um, it was really fun. I thought I would share that story with you guys because I, I just did it today and it's been on my mind. I got to play my professor's privileged clarinet and it was crazy. <laughs> um, yeah, I was even scared to put it down to put it up, put it in the case. I was so scared to even set it down. I was like, oh my gosh, it's like, I'm not gonna drop this thing. Ugh, it's scary. It's scary whenever you know that you're holding something so precious to someone and you're terrified you're gonna drop it or something bad is gonna happen to it and it's gonna be your fault. I mean, it's just a lot of stress. And then having to perform the piece was a lot of stress. So the A clarinet I was playing on has to be fixed over summer and I, I really wanted to have it over summer break and play it so I could do some more pieces and possibly show you guys the difference between an A and a B flat but it looks like I'm not gonna have it so sorry I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any interesting stories of dramatic events that happened to your clarinet make sure to share them down below in the comments or shoot me a message on Facebook if you like the video make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you dislike the video give it a thumbs up anyways so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in one of my next videos.